All right, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at skeleton code. Now, skeleton code is basically the bare bones and the basics we need in order to construct more complex functions and complex code. So let's take a look at the skeleton code. So the skeleton code starts off with a class declaration. So class declaration looks something like this. Public class followed by a file name. Now, you can name this file whatever you'd like. So it can be literally anything. Student, car, um, game, anything you want. So for now, let's just call it student. And this is usually followed, or actually always followed, by a opening, an opening curly brace. And now the following line is going to contain a declaration of a method. So the declaration of the method kind of looks like public static void main string args. Closing parenthesis, and we're also going to add another opening curly brace. And now after we write our code within the main method, we're going to close it using a closing curly brace. And we're going to close the class using another closing curly brace. And within the method, like I said, goes code. Whatever, whatever code you want to put there. All right. So now let's take a quick look at what public static void main actually means and why we use those specific keywords. So first, let's take a look at public. So public basically means that it's accessible to outside files, kind of what you would intuitively think of the word public, right? So it's, it's open, it's accessible to everything, to other files. And now static, static basically means that in a, in a rather technical sense, it means that we do not have to create another object in order to access this method. It is, in fact, just the first call. So we re if we wanted to call the main method, we really don't have to create any sort of object in order to do so. And then the next one, void, basically means that it's a void method. It's empty. It has no return statement. So basically, we do not have to write a line uh, returning any sort of value because there is no return type. And now finally, main is simply the name of the method, and we decided to call it main. And finally, we see here the string square bracket square bracket args. And now what this is, we call this the parameter. And now, more often than not, your methods, when you, when you do write methods, uh, they will probably contain parameters, which are basically uh, necessary data that the method needs in order to carry out its specific function. And in this case, it's, a, it's an array of arguments. So basically what the computer does, it stores all of your code into an array of arguments that are stored in string values. And it later goes on to analyze this and then display um, a certain output. So that's basically what string args does. And I know some of this may not have made complete sense just yet, but it does give really good pretext for future videos.